Cats, the cutest animals on earth. A fact that's been reinforced by every internet video since the internet. So this begs the question, why are cats still banned from HDB flats? I mean, look at this. How could you say no to this? But why were they banned in the first place? Back in the 1960s, the cat ban was actually part of a blanket ban on all animals in flats, including livestock and poultry. This was when Singapore was going through a transitional period of moving residents from kampongs to flats. Anyone found to have a pet cat in their flat may be fined up to $4,000. However, tenants were allowed to keep one dog from a specified list of breeds. So why are cats specifically not allowed? Well, according to HDB, cats are not allowed in flats as they are generally difficult to contain within the flat. When allowed to roam indiscriminately, they tend to shed fur and defecate or urinate in public areas and also make caterwauling sounds, which can inconvenience your neighbours. You know, like a dog. Here are some reasons why I think cats should be allowed in HDB flats. Reason number one, these guidelines don't really make sense. Dogs and other smaller animals such as birds and chinchillas are allowed, with the rationale being that they can be kept as long as they don't inconvenience their neighbours or mess up common areas. I just want to point out that there are 62 dogs approved by HDB, including, including a chihuahua. A chihuahua? Yes. You heard me. This tiny monster. This. The point is, cats aren't any less of a disturbance compared to dogs or birds. Reason number two. This law can actually be detrimental to our feline friends. The number of pet abandonment cases, half of which involve cats, have generally been on an upward trend over the past five years. And Parks investigated 225 of such alleged cases last year. One reason for this could be due to irresponsible cat owners. Runaway cats might also get injured due to a phenomenon known as high-rise syndrome, which is about the prevalence of cats falling from heights should they be kept in HDB flats. Another concern is that these cats can be abandoned without repercussions as the law does not require cat owners to microchip or register their pets. Many think they can abandon their feline companions and get away with it. Abandoned pets are exposed to dangers such as animal cruelty. From 2018 to 2021, the amount of feedback received relating to animal cruelty and welfare rose from 2,490 to 3,025 cases. For example, the slashing cases that occurred last year in June 2021 where a man slashed seven cats in Amokyo with a penknife. Reason number three, last but not least, a point that many of us seem to overlook is that a lot of us already own cats. Also, according to this survey, approximately 91% of respondents don't object to the legalization of cat ownership in HDB flats. So I think it's safe to say that not only are there many people in Singapore who love cats dearly, but clearly there are many of us who are capable of living harmoniously with cats in HDB flats. And I'm not the only one that thinks this way. A strong supporter of the cause, MP Lewis Ng, has brought up the issue of keeping cats in HDB flats in Parliament earlier this year. I am speaking up again and asking that we allow the keeping of cats in HDB flats. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Oh, but allowing cats in HDB flats will cause a lot of problems too. Uh, why if they continue to make a mess and disturb the neighbours? Calm your kitties. Yes, in the past two years, HDB has received around 1,500 to 1,900 cat-related complaints each year, mostly related to irresponsible pet ownership and disamenities such as cats defecating in common areas. All of these concerns are already being talked about as part of a six-month public consultation effort by the ABS that will run till March 2023. For example, one solution that's being discussed is a licensing and microchipping scheme. This scheme will allow you to track your cat if it happens to feel rebellious and runs away from home. Another program that's being discussed is the Trap Neuter Rehome Release Managed Program, which is currently meant for free-roaming dogs. The suggestion was to expand this program to include community cats and promote responsible cat ownership. But most importantly, owners will be held accountable if there are any reports of abandonment, cruelty or neglect. So why let dog people have all the fun? I think it's high time we end this ban on cats and let cat people have a day in the sun. Change is never easy, but let's all keep a uh, positive mindset. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, 
Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell.